Hi, I'm Eva and I'm a PhD student at the Department of Zoology and today we're going to be talking to Lisa about animal communication. Uh, hey, I'm Lisa and I'm a third year PhD student here at the Department of Zoology. Great, so Lisa, can you tell us a bit about your research? So I'm interested in how animals gather information about their food. So basically how they learn what to eat and especially how they learn what not to eat. Mm -hmm. And I'm looking at this in the context of predator-prey interactions. So how predators learn to avoid defended prey, because many prey species have defenses against predators. So one familiar example would be wasps that have this really conspicuous yellow and black coloration so that predators would learn to recognize them mm -hmm. and leave them alone. So for my PhD, I'm trying to understand how predators learn about these warning signals. Mm -hmm. And uh, specifically, I'm interested in how they use social information mm -hmm. during this learning process. So basically how they can learn to avoid something toxic mm -hmm. by observing others. Okay, and how do you, how do you conduct that research? What do you, what do, you do? Uh, so I'm using wild cratids mm -hmm. and blutids as my model predators. Mm -hmm. And I'm conducting experiments both in the wild mm -hmm. and also with the birds in captivity. And in these experiments, I'm using uh, video playback. Mm -hmm. to present bird social information. Mm -hmm. So basically my birds are watching uh, TV. Uh -huh. And this is a really um, good and easy way to manipulate uh, mm -hmm. social information. So I can show birds a video of another, another bird eating something bad. Mm -hmm. And usually when they taste something bad, they show a really clear, what we call, disgust response. So they are really like wagging their beak to the mm -hmm. birds and you can really tell that they didn't like the food. Mm -hmm. So I can then investigate if seeing this video influences observers' food choices. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that sounds pretty cool. What's the, um, what's the bigger picture? Uh, so basically this could help us to understand how these conspicuous, warningly coloured prey evolved mm -hmm. in the first place. Mm -hmm. So if predators can uh, use social information to learn to avoid these defended prey, uh, instead of this kind of individual trial and mm. error learning, uh, the number of prey that would need to be killed to educate the predator community could be much mm -hmm. lower, which could help us to understand uh, how these conspicuous prey could survive and spread in the population. Mm -hmm. And then secondly, understanding how predators use social information could help us to understand invasion biology. Mm -hmm. So for example, how uh, predators can spread to new areas, mm -hmm. or what happens if a novel toxic prey will spread to new areas with naive predators. So mm -hmm. in these cases some predator species um, might be able to learn about this novel toxic prey much faster than mm -hmm. others. Mm -hmm. um, differences in, in info information use could help us to understand these patterns. Mm -hmm. Cool, and what evidence is there already for predators you know, learning through social Behavior. So there has been a lot of evidence showing that predators can learn about food preferences, mm -hmm. but actually not that many experiments showing that they can learn to avoid something. Mm. So there is this, uh, my supervisor just published this new study showing that creatives can learn to avoid mm -hmm. uh, toxic prey by observing others, and now I'm trying to investigate this more. So investigate if they can also learn from other species, how creatives can, for example, learn from pluted because these species are foraging in mixed flocks in nature. So also I'm trying to understand how the information then spreads in wild populations. So are you going to do that field work in England or where, where are you going to be looking at these birds? Uh, so I'm doing part of my field work here in Cambridge and then part of it in Finland. So I'm originally from Finland and I did my undergrads in Finland and I was also during my master's I was working with uh, captive birds. So I'm continuing these experiments. So what do you like about the Department of Zoology? Well, I think one of the best things is that it's a great place to meet people working on various topics. So in addition to all the people that are actually working at the department, we also have a great range of guest lectures and seminars which gives you an opportunity to meet people from different fields and from different backgrounds. So for example we have this uh, behavior um, ecology and evolution seminar series. So every week we have a guest speaker giving a seminar and I think 
those are really interesting and I have learned a lot from those. Okay, so you're in your third year now. Do you know what you want to do when you finish? Yeah, the time has gone really fast. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I think I would like to continue in academia. So I will probably look for a postdoc after I finish my PhD and I would like to continue working on a similar topic, so on predator-prey interactions. Well, thank you so much for coming, Lisa, and um, good luck for the future.